what's up virgo it's deb with goddess of the moon tarot i hope that you guys are doing well i hope that this reading finds you safe shout out to my soul tribe members that have been showing love and support i definitely appreciate that you guys also if you are new here and you've been resonating please don't forget to like comment subscribe share hit the post notification bell definitely appreciate the energy exchange as well all right what's going on virgo this is my third time trying to do your reading. Resilience. And this is the whining gibbous. So the next whining gibbous, you're definitely going to want to put in a lot of resilience and just keep going forward. You might feel like the world is on your shoulders if you see this depiction, but you got the strength to push forward. Last one, I got sovereignty. So you definitely want to stand in your sovereignty as well knowing that you can control and rule yourself and you know you do not need someone to control you also virgo i am open for personals now so if you would be interested in booking a personal go ahead and check out the description box below there's instructions on how to do so instagrammers i do have an instagram page so if you would like to follow the page i did provide a link in the description box as well Virgo. <laughs> Your card came out. None. So we know that you have a lot of wisdom, understanding. You go within. You're very studious. A lot of times you're the person that people come to for advice because they know that you know everything. Well, at least they think you do, right? Three of Swords. You dealt with some type of heartbreak. It was either in the past or it could have been recently. And it had something to do with your home, with the four of scepters. So your foundation was being very challenged and it had to go through some type of judgment. So you made a judgment call on your home situation and Amit is here. So this indicates that someone's heart is going to be devoured. Someone was not balanced. Someone was either greedy or selfish they were committing they were committing something against the skills of mind possibly this person wants some type of mercy with the scribe of unks this person feels like they were there from the beginning so they feel like they should be able to get away with something but then we have the queen of scarabs which is the queen nefertiti okay and this also indicates that he put in a lot of work and a lot of things that possibly other people didn't do. So he probably worked alone and established a lot of things. And you showed a lot of self-love and self-resilience with King Kanam or Pharaoh Kanam, the Ace of Unks. You're connected to the divine. This is the one of the creator gods. So you co-created with the divine showing love and using a lot of resilience with the king of scepters being able to use the wisdom to hooty right here that you have already gained and with the scepter that you hold you have authority and, and power let's see virgo what's the three of swords Ace of Scepters. Yes, new beginnings. Wow, you have pretty much all of the pharaohs coming out here. Ace of Scepters is uh, Pata, which is another creative god, but this is using passion, desire, love, lust. But the Ace of Scarabs came out in reverse. So I feel like whoever it was that caused this heartbreak, this Three of Swords, they're having a hard time with their money right now. They're having a hard time keeping themselves balanced and they're having a hard time carrying this heavy burden that they've caused on themselves. Whoever it is, they don't connect to Aten, the sun. This person doesn't even have anything to offer others with the scribe of scarabs reverse 
So, <laughs> excuse me, Virgo. So they envy the fact that you have a new beginning coming in with Pata. What's the three? The four of scepters. Yeah, you walked away, the eight of unks. You don't see this as any type of wish fulfillment. You're going after your wish fulfillment. You're going after your desires, what it is that you really want. Because there was too much deceit, too many lies, the seven of swords, too much betrayal. And you are the king of scarabs. So someone, not only are you balancing your masculine and feminine energy, but you also have your partner that is going to come in and help you. And this is why this person is very jealous and envious. They probably have spread it lies about you because you you are the future millionaire, billionaire in your family. This is one of the riches, one of the richest pharaohs, okay? Let's see. So whose heart is getting devoured? What's this? Because this is um, judgment right here. Bass mm. and the two of swords. Okay, so somebody did something against you and they did not know that you were destined for greatness. They did not know that you were protected by Bass. They did not know that you had the protection, the love, and the success that was coming to you. You cannot be touched, you cannot be bothered. Luck is on your side. What's the scribe of unks? This person didn't see that, I guess. Or they didn't want to see it. One of the two, Virgo. King of unks. Okay. So we got Go Pharaoh Gozier. And actually, these two are the ones that work together to build his temple. The temple of Kanam and also the pyramid. One of the first pyramids. These two work together. So I feel like... This person felt like because they were there since the beginning that they were supposed to be a part of your legacy and your journey. But this person refused to do the work to be the queen of scarabs. So it was like you had to be both until your actual partner came in. What's the queen of scarabs? Who is this? There's Bass again. Aset Asar is in reverse lover's card. The warrior of scarabs reverse and the three of scepters in reverse. Someone wished that you would not receive the love that you deserve. They don't want you to have this lover. They're trying to block out this offer that so that you can't give this offer to this queen of scarabs. And they don't want you to continue to wait. So someone's trying to pressure you into doing something else because they see that you do have fortune coming, wealth, protection, abundance. Yeah, the will of fortune. Ace of Onks. Cannot. But they were the ones that built the they were the ones that built the temple for him. Two uh scarabs. And he actually stopped Egypt for seven years from having any water because of the acts that the people were doing. And when they rebuilt his temple, he allowed the water to come back into the Nile. So it's almost like they feel like you were destined and you probably were destined, but they did a lot of stuff in the background that was not what was needed. See, Four of Swords and Aset, they tried to do some type of manipulation. Four swords in reverse. You're out of your head now. You understand that they were trying to manipulate you and trying to cause a lot of conflict. They wanted you to be double-minded. And then I see in the Ten of Unks, double-minded about what your true happiness and your true abundance of love would come from. But you, again, still have a lot of passion and desire. And you're ready to go for it. What, whatever it is that you desire. What's the king of scepters? You're resilient. Eight of Swords. What's these two? Nebahet reverse and the Nine of Unks reverse. See? You don't see 
this new beginning that you're going to have, you don't see this person in it because they don't tap into their intuition. They don't use their inner knowledge. It's like they depend on you for everything. They depend on you for your wealth. They depend on you for your love, your abundance, and your wisdom. This person refuses to gain any wisdom. So you're just going to leave them stuck in this mental entrapment and allow them to go through this pyramid, which is the tower. Just let them fall out of the tower. Yeah, because you have the victory. You have recognition reward that's coming in for you. Soul retrieval, reclamation. Step into your authenticity. If it does not feel right, don't do it. You are seeing the truth in a situation. Open your eyes to what others are really saying. Be gentle with yourself. You are on the mend. Release judgment of yourself and others. Connect with and trust your guides. Exactly. As long as you're often authentic, authentic about what it is that you're doing, you know what's going on. There, it don't matter how long the history goes with this particular person. They're not meant to go on this next cycle with you. Okay, Virgo. So that is what I have for you. I hope that this helped. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the post notification bell, and I will talk to you guys later. This is...